All right, so I finished drilling the holes, and just to give you an idea, this just, just, just kind of mocked up, but there is the setup. As you can see, the, uh, the steel plates are much more square, and I, I don't even, I only have two sets of uh, threaded rod through there, right? I got two more I'm going to put on the front, top and bottom. But that's the PMA. Now, you'll notice that there's some turnbuckles on there, right? Now, they're just kind of, they're not really doing anything yet, right? It's, okay, this one's not hooked up yet because I, I got to shorten the uh, threaded uh, screws in there. Just hit them real quick with a cutoff blade and uh, tighten it right up. Same thing with that one threaded screws are a little too long, so I'll just pull them out, cut them, throw a die across them real quick, and uh, or just buy new ones with the hardware with the shorter eyes. But I'm going to change out the eyes, something a little more tighter fitting, but for now, this is the idea, right? That's going to pick up the slack, and over here, we're going to put a sprocket on the, uh, on the shaft, right? And then from the other video, you'll, you'll notice that the gears and the axles are sitting there, and there there so by the time we get up to here we're hoping for you know a little over 500 rpms and, and maybe two or three pounds of torque which we hope is enough to drive uh, the PMA under you know moderate loads we'll just it's kind of gonna have to wait and see all that it works out and have to make some adjustments but uh, that's the idea okay from this side um, I'll get some cooperation for my light here. Okay. So that's what's going on on this side. You'll notice that threaded rod goes right through the steel plate on the bottom. That's the 3 8 one on the bottom. And goes through the bottom hole on the, uh, the PMA. And I threw some... Uh, some nuts and washers and lock washers on both sides of the uh, of the mount. That may change a little bit. That's just kind of holding in place for now. And then up here on the top rod, which that top threaded rod is a half inch. Okay, you, you'll notice it's it's locked in place by washers and I mean nuts and lock washers on both the inside and the outside there. And then the turnbuckles will pick up the slack. And we'll have to see how stable it is. I may need to make some, some small adjustments somewhere to stabilize the PMA a little better, but that's the idea. And you know, with the with the turnbuckles the way they are, once I shorten the, the threaded rod inside, um, you know, I can loosen and tighten it on the spot without having to worry about having a chain tensioner. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So there it is. I, uh, I'm going to drill the holes for the front side now, but i got to be careful where I drill them on the front because on the front, uh, the front's a little more involved. We're going to have a, the escapement mechanism is going to be right down in that area, rotating back and forth. So, and up here will be the of course, the first axle with its uh, with its sprockets. So this area here is going to be a pretty busy area. So I got to be careful about where I put the holes for the threaded rods. Um, which on the front, the threaded rods are just to stabilize and score up the, uh, the the gearbox. So I may have to push those threaded rods, you know, a little bit deeper into the into the box. Not totally sure yet, but we'll have to kind of contemplate that and draw it out. Okay guys, so there it is, um, the beginnings of where the PMA is going to be mounted, looking good so far. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Sorry they're shaky.